Hello there traders and welcome to another update on the market. Um, for today I decided to cover USD versus Canadian dollar. I will speak about the gold market and about the crude oil and the Bitcoin versus US dollar. I'll start with the USD versus Canadian dollar first. So what I found basically on this uh, currency pair is that there is a potential for the distribution process in the next period because we did have a very very well defined uh, channeling and trade channel mode, a uh, trading range um, and price and we already got a few fake breakouts and I think basically the sellers used this buying climax from yesterday. This was pretty much climatic action as you see on the profile and there was a big reversal and bigger volume. So I think that this whole area here was more um, is telling me there is a you know lots of the buyers above here uh, they were waiting for the news and you know to just go even more and sell more and If you check where we stopped, we got some cluster the lows We we traded a few pips below, but I can expect this to continue with more downside eventually take this low at 1.2 uh, 720 um, Now we also have news we have actually um, a EDP North Farm employment change just in a bit and we have a Bank of England governor Bailey will speak and later, uh, tons of events, you know, Fetcher Powell testified, anyway, I sent manufacturing PMI and crude oil inventory, so very important for the crude oil. So very important events also for Canadian dollar, and think there will be a bigger volatility as well for today. And actually, hold this week, we have a plenty of the news and plenty of events, which can really bring bigger volatility on the market. Anyway, Speaking of right here in this price section we got in the previous few days, I see that there is a potential for the bigger drop, uh, taking the lows here and eventually attacking the lows at 1.26, um, 650, 6.45. So from my perspective, I will um, watch for selling opportunities on the rallies and expect the more, more selling on the USD Canadian dollar. This market is already extending the upside and we got this potential distributions creating here. So I think there is a, we got a great odds for even further downside. Um, going now to the gold market, gold market is more, more noisy. There is no defined direction here. We have a, a fake move here. We have a fake downside move here. We have a fake upside here, a fake downside here. So there is a lots of the, you know, noise that we created here and we kind of establishing even more bigger sideways regime so i really don't see anything spectacular here we marked this in a you know just probably waiting for the news to define the next direction so we can watch for the breakout but make sure that the breakout will have a follow through so not just like a break like a single break to have some follow through and uh, make sure the downside cycle is still active since this area here. So overall, and if I go to the daily or four hour time frame uh, or larger, like eight hour time frame, for example, this market is, you know, still on the downside. So you see the 20, 20 average is just downside here. And um, this is right now the pretty noisy sideways. So watch for a breakout with some follow through for the next directional move to define the next directional move. Uh, the next one I want to cover, we got, uh, we'll go to the Bitcoin and speak about Bitcoin versus US dollar. This one is still in the ranging mode. We did have one fake move here. So expect eventually the market to also eventually try to go above this area. Now we are still pretty flat uh, around 57,300. But we got these fake fake moves here, so now I, I can see also that Mark will try to attack this cluster of highs here. We have a cluster of the highs, uh, but we are basically sideways in here. I will watch for more for the further price action to confirm or if we got an upside breakout, do we have a follow through or we basically just we will have no follow through or something like that. So. I really watch carefully what is happening here. I watch for eventual breakout. The more downside, pin bar low is awaiting at 51,000. The upside confirmation, uh, some you know, breakout and follow through probably can lead us to the some previous swing highs at 66,000, 67. But for now, it's just a flat line and a one box we're trading inside of this box. And um, 
yeah, that will be all for today's today's update. Definitely USD CAD most most attractive from my perspective based on the the behavior we got from the from the previous price section. I'm most I think there is a bigger very good odds for the more downside taking the lows here and eventually trying to attack the 1.2645. That'll be all for this update. I hope that you did enjoy. See you all tomorrow morning. Trade safe and take care.